Global markets have been a little bit weaker since the end of January, and the concern has really been about global growth. Remember that the global economy is actually performing quite well, and if anything, we've seen growth accelerate, and that's translated into a decent performance from financial markets over the last few months. The concern here, however, is about what happens in the future, and there have been a couple of areas of focus. The first has been around inflation and interest rates. The concern has been that if you see inflation begin to accelerate, central banks may move to tighten monetary policy and raise interest rates faster than people had previously anticipated. And the second is around trade. The US administration has just announced that it'll impose tariffs on certain products, and other countries have already begun to indicate that they'll retaliate to that. The concern around tariffs is higher tariffs, higher costs, and therefore perhaps slower growth on a global basis. So it's interesting that global financial markets are focusing a little bit more on global politics this year than they did in 2017. And there's a lot to focus on. Close to home, we see the Brexit negotiations where the UK government probably hasn't made as much progress as it would have liked. The European Union seems to be standing pretty firm. And the range of outcomes that we may see still seems to be fairly broad. And that's difficult for financial markets to really price and digest. When we look at Europe, we see the Italian elections. And it's a real reminder that the populist parties in, in Europe continue to gain traction. And that probably makes creating a government and policy making in the Eurozone a little bit tougher. When we look at the US, we've seen the latest moves on trade policy uh, with, the with the proposed tariff increases. And it's worth remembering that that comes in the context of a real focus on trade and bilateral trade over the last year or so. We've seen it with regard to the NAFTA renegotiations between the US, Mexico and Canada. And now we're beginning to see signs that it may move into other spheres. And then finally in China, it looks like that President Xi will stay longer in office than his predecessors have. And there's a question as to what impact that will have, not just on financial market assets, but also on Chinese policy making going forward. So the underlying fundamentals in financial markets still look pretty decent. Corporate profitability is high, global growth, if anything, has accelerated a little bit. And we've seen that translate into better earnings than perhaps we previously expected. But it's also fair to say that financial markets seem to be focusing a little bit more on the risks in 2018 than perhaps they did last year. So what does this mean for our portfolios? It's important to keep a couple of things in mind. Firstly, always take the level of risk that you're comfortable with. Don't take too much, but also remember not to take too little risk. That way you've got the best possible chance of reaching your goals. Secondly, Always keep a well-diversified portfolio so you can take advantage of a range of different themes. And finally, as far as possible, focus on the long term. That way you'll be best placed to ride out whatever short-term volatility we may see.